Good evening from Expert Credit Sweeps. So if you have charge-offs on your report, whether or not they're reported by a debt buyer as well, I'm going to show you what you should be looking for to get them removed, and it's very, very powerful. So you can obviously see that I've boxed certain things such as balance and company sold to. Another thing that you wanna look at is payment status and payment status details, and we are looking at this. Uh, this is from Credit Check Total, and most of the time, it's Experian that's going to report these semi-accurately. TransUnion and Equifax are always going to report them like this late, late charge off, bad debt collection. So don't even bother looking at those. It's really just the Experian ones, and with the big banks, they're normally going to be on all three bureaus anyway. So back to this there's no balance. It doesn't show that it's been paid. It would say green. I mean, it would say uh, paid charge off in green, sorry. And um, this doesn't show that. There's no balance, doesn't say paid, and it doesn't say transferred or sold. Therefore, it has to be removed. Now, if you look at this one, once again, charge off, no balance, does not say uh, sold to, but if you look at Equifax, right down here in the comments it says paid charge off how is that so why does an experience show paid charge off i mean okay so this one is reported accurately it says company sold to lvnv so you see right here how these two don't have it that's just the way that it's reported it's always going to report like that so this one is how it should look Okay, LVNV is the one that owns the account. They're the ones that can report the balance. So another one, and this belongs to the same client, shows a monthly payment of $72. How is that? Another issue is that Portfolio actually owns this account. So why isn't this reported right here as sold to Portfolio Recovery? That makes no sense. Why is there a monthly payment of $72 reported on number one, a charge off because it's closed, and number two, an account that Fingerhut does not own? They cannot report it like this and it has to be deleted. So very quickly, this one is not right because it doesn't say paid, there's no balance, and it doesn't say that it's been sold. This one is not accurate because it says down here in the comments that it's been paid, but the status does not say that it's been paid. And it also doesn't say that it's been sold. This one is accurate because it says sold to LVNV funding and there's no balance, okay? This one, once again, is inaccurate because it shows a monthly payment reported on a closed account and it does not say that it's been sold and there's no balance. So you can use these things to get charge-offs off and I'm seeing it more and more lately. I did five progress reports last night and there were probably four of them just between five clients that actually had a uh, no balance and didn't say paid transfer or sold. So make sure that you're looking for these little things. I'm telling you how powerful these are that's going to get these accounts taken off, okay? The debt buyer, if they're reporting on the credit report, they're the only ones that should have a balance. If it was sold, it needs to report as sold. That is basically it for tonight, guys. If you need help and you want an actual expert to take over your credit sweep, make sure that you go schedule your consultation at expertcreditsweeps.com, and that is it. I hope you guys have a great evening.